Welcome to the World of Art with Paul Creamy. Today I'm going to show you something that I've been working with for the last few years that is so exciting for me. Because I've been doing stuff all my life, but when I do something new, I get all excited. Even at 78, I'm a little kid. So what I've got today is I've taken my old art and I've cut it all up and put it in a box and then I've taken the pieces and I've glued them and then I've painted on top. So I've been working on this one for a couple of days and it's finally finished. And it has such a movement and such peace and joy. I mean this whole series is going to be kind of I was trying to go into a place where people would be a little more excited, a little more happy. We've gone through two years of agony with this virus. In fact, I just had myself tested at the VA yesterday for uh, Alzheimer's because my sister and brother both passed on with Alzheimer's. I don't have it. My wife's been driving me nuts. Will you get tested? Will you get tested? I like to get her tested. but. Uh, after 57 years of being married to my wife, I have to be kind and joyful. Anyways, so this one here has this beautiful energy. It's jumping around, it's bouncing in and out, and the colors are reflecting the joy of knowing that we're going to get away from what we were going through. And that's what I'm trying to do with, the, with this series that I'm doing. So I have quite a few of them, and I'm going to do one at a time. And this was the newest. In fact, I haven't, got, I haven't even got it in a frame. That's how new it is. So I'm going to put this one over here. And I'm going to put this one up. And each one of these has a different feeling. This painting is, was done when I had the virus myself. And I had the circles and all of these colors and all of the movement and everything coming into the center. And I felt to myself, you know, this has got to go away. And it did. I just had to be patient. So all of the circles are the feeling of being something in your body that you don't want and you want to get rid of it. And so that's what I did when I did this one. And I said, I'm going to do this with all of these pieces. And, uh, I didn't start to really start to paint on top of these. With this one, I barely touched it at all. This is part of the same movement that I was doing. And you will see a face in here, a figure. I mean, I wanted to show people that we were getting called into and squeezed into this whole thing. I was fed up with it. I was angry. I said, at this stage in our lives, we shouldn't be having this kind of a problem. And that's what this is all about. It's, it has that feeling of being forced with something you don't want, and you don't like, and you don't want to live with it. You want to be in a situation that was joyful and happy and kind of blessed. And I think a lot of people didn't feel that way when they had this virus. And I'm, that's what I was trying to say with this particular print. And it's a, a collage too, a piece of collage. And I did some coloring around it, but not as much as I'm doing now. The ones I'm doing now are really heavily colored. So I'll get another one, pull it out, put it up. So there's a little more joy. It, it, it has a little more movement. It has a little more of the color. The gold frame makes it jump around. Although I did punch a hole in with the screw here. Ah, I'm so crazy with that when I do stuff. I've got to take that back a little and see if I can fix it. But I love the quality of this particular piece. It's got these movements in the telling me that we're going through this thing and we're going to get on the other side. And that's what this is all about. It's getting cleaned out and we're going to have a better life. And the colors are more happier and more joyful. 
and I wanted to make you feel like you were in a better position than it was when I did it. And, and that's what I'm saying about this particular piece. It, it has a quietness about it, it has people moving, it's soft, it's bright, and it's happy. I did a black and white one, and I, and I love black and white. I'm always going to do black and white. My favorite stu uh, subject is black and white. Ever since I was a kid, I loved black and white. And this one, it has so much power in this particular picture, painting. It's all the pieces, and they're moving, and they're shoving you, and they're pulling you in, and it's crowded, and it's tight. But it's very, very exciting for me because it draws me into the picture. And that's what I love about black and white. Black and white has its own power. It makes you stand there and look at it and look at it again. And then you might look at it a third time because it's got something that you can't figure out what it's got. And that's what I love about black and white. It holds you, it grabs you, it pulls you in and it pushes you out. Art is something that affects us. We don't realize how much it affects us. We can stand in front of a picture like this for hours and say, what is it saying? What is it doing? And that's what I love about black and white. Color is joyful. Black and white makes you think. It's a little more laid back. It has a little more of come and see me and tell me what I'm saying than sometimes the color. The color is very joyful and that's why so many people like color. But personally, a great piece of art done in black and white is a great piece. Now we're gonna get some really colorful ones. This particular one has got all the pieces in there and then it has this white on top and it's showing me that we're moving through and we're getting done with this. It's going to come to an end and we're trying to get it through. My wife and I both had it twice. We had it when it was nobody knew what it was. My grandson got it first then he gave it to me and my wife and my daughter and the four of us had it. And the first time we had it, it was terrible. The second time, it was just like a cough and a sneeze. So what we're saying in this particular one, we lost some people with it, and it's sad. It's relatives, it's friends, it's people we know. And we hate to see this happen, even if they're whatever. It still doesn't want anybody to leave when they're not ready to leave. And this particular stuff is showing us that they already left they're gone. Well, we keep them in our prayers and we keep them in our mind and in our soul. Because we never leave what we love. It's always there. And that's what this painting in this particular print is saying to me. Just because I'm not with you, it doesn't mean that I'm not in you. We're all connected. We're always going to feel feelings and we're always going to think things about people we love. So when I do a series like that, when it has a lot of movement, I follow it with another one with not as much of it, the people as much as the movement. I love the movement in this particular piece because it's pulling me across the canvas and, or, or the paper or the, the quality of the print. And it has all of the stuff that I love about it because it does all this beautiful in and out kind of going across. And it says to me that we're coming and we're leaving it behind. It's not no longer holding on to us. We're set free. And we're getting set free. It's starting to go away. And all of the rest of them that I've done are going to show you how it moves and how it moves out. It's slow, it's easy, it's annoying. Yeah, 
We're just glad to see it go. That's what this particular piece says to me. The ones that I'm showing you now were done. Oh, these ones, these ones weigh a ton. Oh, absolutely. These are collages that I did years and years ago. And I finally pulled them out and put them in a frame. And, and, and I'm saying to myself, you know, you've been doing this for maybe 50 years with the collages. And these were very old. These were done maybe 35 years ago. And I started working on them. I didn't paint on top of these because I love what they were and what they are. And there's a line that goes right down the center of this and it's dealing with tightness in looseness. You know, we're, we're always trying to find a way of being at peace. And sometimes we climb out of ourselves and we go into that peaceful, quiet place. And that's what this particular collage has to say for me. When I did it, I loved it. I never had it in a frame and I just put a lot of these in frames and I actually signed it, which is very rare for me because I don't like things disappearing when they're signed. I don't mind if they're disappearing once in a while when they're not signed, but if they're signed and they disappear, it bothers me. So it's saying to me that we have gone through something in our lives, making a move, changing something. We want to get somewhere. We want to get into a place and rise up and, and see how we feel. And that's what this particular collage does. I have maybe three or four of them from that particular series. Maybe three. This is one of them. So if you have any idea of what I'm doing, <laughs> and it may be a little different for you, what you do and how you do it makes you change your attitude about what you're doing. We get caught up in what we do, and we do it all the time. Do something different in your life and see what it does for you. This is another one of those, but it's got this particular feeling, and it's really set up, and it has power, and it has dynamic. I look at it and I say to myself, wow, this reminds me of when I was a youngster and I was at the museum school and I was looking at all of these magnificent artists in the museum and I said, someday I'm going to do a series like those guys and like those women. And this is part of that thought, even at this age. I mean, I did these maybe when I was in my, uh, probably, 60, 65, that was a while back. I'm 78 now, so it's a while back. But I've never stopped loving these, and I finally pulled them out of the drawer and put them in frames. And I says, you know, someday somebody's going to look at this and say, I love it, I hope. And then they're going to say, I want it, I hope. And that's what it's all about. For an artist, we have to sell what we make. I don't know how we got something in the corner of this. Yeah. Moving these things around, getting touched and pushed around. But, you know, these things that, they really speak to me. I know it's probably difficult for you as the audience to understand what I'm saying, but it has certain qualities. It has this pulling me in, letting me out, coming by. It's part of what an artist is trying to express, and he doesn't have the words. There's a, an, an artist that does condos, and he did them for MIT, and he did them for a bunch of other countries, and they're fabulously abstract. 
Now, I love that so much that I've done maybe 50 or 60 of these condos. They're all over my studio, in my studios at 1000 Main Street in Hanson. And you can come on by and walk around and you'll see these all over the place. And I think that that's probably p part of why I started doing these collages and painting them and putting them up like I'm doing now. Now this is my favorite one out of all of the ones I just showed. And you probably see why. It, it has a quality. I love the frame. I love the colors. I love the movement. And I'm being pulled in. I feel like there's a staircase going somewhere. And then there's this beautiful little box right here with the red. And, and all of this stuff in this particular collage moves you. You stand in front of it and you're trying to say, what does it say? Well, it, to me, it talks about movement. There's stairs here and there's stairs there and there's stairs there. And it's actually signed. And I can't see the date. I know that the signature is right here and it's got a mark, but it doesn't have a date. I got away from putting dates on because they, they sort of hold you into a period. And I think that we should always be free and be able to go where we want to go, no matter where. And I think that is, an artist is free. And if you put him in a box, I think it changes to what he's going to do and what he does. So I say to myself, you know, this collage is one of my favorite. In fact, I probably won't ever sell it. I like it so much. Like my brother's painting that I sold to my brother when he was, when I was 21 years old and he, he was 22. And he hit the lottery and he bought it from me. And I didn't want to take the money and he made me. And I did something nice with the money, I bought a car. All right, now we're going to get into something a little more exciting, a little more punch, a little more energy, like the first one. It deals with the end of the virus, hopefully. All of the red and all of the yellow and all of the orange and all of the energy that is in this is pulling us away from it. We're done with it. I'm fed up. I don't want to see it anymore. I don't want to have it. In fact, the last time I got tested, they charged me $150 and I had the virus. And I said, why would they charge you after you have the virus? It's not just to charge you if you don't. If you do, I don't know, whatever they did. Because I have a different company that works for me, I had to pay them $150 and I'm still upset about it. Painting and doing this is a way of expressing what you're saying without telling people what it is. I like people to stand in front of this kind of work and look at it and say, what does it say to me? And it says to me, there's this, all of this energy and all of this frustration is going away. And we're going to be set free, hopefully. I've got three new ones. These are very new. And then I got two other ones that are different than the rest of them. And they're over here and I'm going to show you those too. They're prints. These, these are collages. So this is a new series that I'm working on and I'm thrilled with it. And it deals with joy. It feels like a party. It feels like there should be balloons in there and people dancing and stuff like that. It has all of this old art cut up, then glued down, and then painted on top. And so it's something that I, well, I don't throw anything away. I put stuff away. I put them in drawers or I put them in boxes. And I know that I'm going to do something with them someday. And someday came about 
three or four months ago when I started doing these and I really like what they are and I think they're getting better and better. Each and every one of has more movement, more excitement, more color. And it says to me that, you know, we've been through something and we don't want to go through it again. We want to find a way to celebrate and be at peace and love each and, our, each and every one of our friends and our enemies and just be grateful that we are through with the nonsense. I've got two more in this series and I'll put them up and then I'll put the last two. Maybe I have four more. I don't know. No, it's just two more. So each one of them you'll see has a different color, a different attitude, but it's still pulling you up and pulling you away and we are set free. All of the nonsense is gone and it's happy. Like the last one I think is happy too. It's saying, okay, we're like the fish getting out of the water or the fish in the water, whatever. But we're happy where we are and we want to be happy and we want to be set free. We're tired of what's going on in this country and we want to see if we can get it straightened out. It's been kind of a mess and the world's been kind of a mess with the Russians starting that war. I don't know if they want to go further and further. They want to go farther and farther. I think they have to put an end to it. So I'm trying to say that in a way that we need to all start to say, let's get this done with, close it down, stop it. They're a bunch of sissies. And this is the last one of these particular ones. I have a whole bunch of them put away. I didn't want to pull them all out. We'd be here all day. So this one says goodbye. And it's pushing everything out the window and gone. We want to stand beside it and say, I'm tired of trying to stop what's going on and get on with our lives and be happy. You know, we're stuck in this situation for two and a half years, almost three years. And I think to be free, you have to take it and act it and believe it. And that's what I'm trying to do with these paintings and these collages. So I have two other ones, and they're both prints. And I'm going to pull them out and put them up, and then I'll show you them. This is a print on my press. And it's blue. And I did it with the idea of saying, I want to get rid of the blues. I'm tired of what's going on. This is two people in their one. And they're, they want to be happy. This has almost got a smile. And this one's kind of hugging up to it. I mean, a lot of people don't see things because they don't know how to look. You know, if you really stand in front of something long enough, you might pick up what it's trying to say. These are people of joy. You know, and it's, I have this print in my bedroom because I think it's very, very happy and very, very joy. And it's simple. It has this really smile in his face and he's got this beautiful woman on his side and it's saying to me, you know, we need to love each other and be happy and, and live in a joy that we have somebody that loves us and we love them. That's what that whole thing says to me. In the last one, this, I worked on this one for a year. <laughs> oh God, I made the plate and I made the print and I wanted to say that we're like these people in the circle. We're caught up by all of the nonsense around us. And it's got the virus name, 19. 
And I said to myself, if you allow this to box you in like this, you'll never get away from it and you'll never get out of it. So say to yourself, I am not going to let this own me or take me or, or whatever. I am going to go to Mass every day like I love to do. I'm going to talk to God and I'm going to say, God, by your stripes I am healed and made whole. And all of the nonsense goes away. The brokenness in the line right here. We are going to get out of this situation and we're going to have a better way and a better life. Thank you and good night. God bless.